subtopic 2.6 representation of sample space so a pictorial representation of different ways of outcomes is called a tree diagram so a tree diagram can be useful device for keeping track of conditional probabilities when using multiplication and partition rules so first of all you need to have the to have the idea to draw a tree where each path represents a sequence of events. So you need to know how to draw tree diagrams so that we can use tree diagram to solve probability. So example 2.20, a bag contains five red balls and then three blue. Three balls are drawn one by one, A with replacement. So A with replacement. So the tree diagram for the first that you are going to pick up the ball, you either going to get blue or red color. So the probability for blue is probability of getting blue, you have three over total everything that you have in the sample space eight so for the red probability of getting r equals to five over so that's the first time that you're going to select the blue or red color ball so the next time after that you might also have blue or red blue or red so this is the second time the question said that three balls so the next time we also have the same blue br 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 okay so the probability for the second time this is the first time this is for the second time this is for the third time so for the second time the probability for this one since this is with replacement so the value for the probability are not going to change because you just look at the ball and then you put it back in the back so 3 over 8 3 over 8 and no this one is 5 over 8 3 5 3 5 The question uh, so you need to list down the outcomes over here again what what is the outcomes of at least two blue balls will be selected so it would be quite easier if you list it down the list of outcomes so the first one bbb bbr brb brr rbb rbr R R B R R R. So this is the total outcomes. So this is the outcomes that you're going to get if you are trying to take three balls drawn one by one for A with replacement. So the question: What is the outcome of at least two? So when we discuss that it is at least two, so it can be two or three. So let event A so at least 2 so this one yes 2 2 2 ok so you have B B B B B R B R B and R B B so this is the answer for question A so for question B, without replacement, what is the outcome of getting first ball blue and the third ball red? So B without replacement. First of all, you need to draw the three diagram. So the first time BR, second time. And then third time. And then you need to know what is the probability for each 
branch. So for the first time that you take blue, the probability would be 3 over 8. So this one, 5 over 8. So you total up everything, 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8, so it should be equals to 1. So the next time, this is without replacement, since after you have selected one blue, let's imagine that you throw it out somewhere. Maybe you don't really want to use this ball anymore. So the next time in the back, the value for blue ball are going to decrease by 1. So the next time you take, the probability are going to be 2 over 7. 2 over 7. The probability of going to get red balls for this one, 5 over 7. The ball that you throw is actually blue, so it is not related to red, so that's why red is still 5. So the next time you're going to take, if you are going to get another blue ball, so this one should be 1 over 6, this one 5 over 6. So if you take this one, this path, blue, red, so the, at the next, this would be 2 over 6, this would be 4 over 6. You need to know the first time you take blue, so blue already decreased by 1, but then the second time is red. So it doesn't really have anything to do with blue, so blue still 2, but then red decreased by 1. The same thing happens over here, the, if you take R and then the next time you take blue, so it would be 3 over 7. This one, 4 over 7. So R B, so this one would be 2 over 6, this one 4 over 6. This one would be R R, so you don't blue balls yet, so the value for B still 3 over 6 but then for r you already take 2 so you need to minus 5 minus 2 so you are left with 3 over 6 so this is without replacement so as you can see here the value for the probability is different when you apply with replacement or without replacement so what is the outcome of getting the first ball blue and the third ball red so first you need to list down the outcome so outcomes, the first one, B, 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 R, B, R, B, B, R, 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 B, B, R, B, R, 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 B, and the last one, R, R, R. So the question, what is the outcomes? The first blue and the third red. So the first blue, this one, third red, first blue, third red, so this one, okay. So event B, let's say event B is the outcome of getting the first ball blue and the third red. So the answer would be B, B, R and B, R. Okay, so let's try to solve example 2.22. So 65% of the students go to the college by their own transport, 20% by bus, and the remaining students walk to the college. And then 2% of the students with own transport will be late for college, and 4% who take buses to college will be late. And then only 1%, those who walk into college, will be late. So draw a suitable tree diagram. So this is... First of all, you need to draw three diagram. So the student, there are three options: on transport, bus, or walking. So the probability of O equals to zero point six five. So probability B zero point two zero. All the information is given in the question. So you uh, you need to total up everything. It should equal to 0. Point, it, it should equal to 1. So since you have 0. 0.65 for own transport, 0. 0.20 for those who take buses. So the remaining 
1 minus 0 0.65 minus 0 0.20 so probability of getting w is actually equals to 0 0.15 so the next option the, the next situation if you take your own transport you either are going to be late or not late so bus late or not late late or not late so those who take their own transport so this path the symbol will be probability to be late given that they take their own transport so it will be two percent so 0 0.02 so the complement of it probability of to be not late when you take your own transport will be 1 minus 0 0.02 equals to 0 0.98 so the same thing happened to those who take the buses so those who late are four percent so the probability to be late when you take the bus is actually 0 0.04 so to to be not late when you take the bus, it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.04, so 0 0.96. So the same thing happened if you walk. So probability to be late given you are walking to the college, 0 0.01. So probability not late when you walk will be 0 0.99%. So this is what we call as conditional probability in order for you to know whether you are going to be late or not everything depends on the mode of the transportation so the next slide we are going to discuss detail about conditional probability